Jim McCarney reporting this evening as Shamrock Rovers have extended their lead atop the SSC Airtricity Premier Division table to five points with a 3-1 comprehensive win over Sligo at the showgrounds this evening. Rovers completely controlled the opening half, netting twice in that period of play. They attacked early. Jack Burden came close and Rory Gaffney came close as well. But it was Daniel Cleary that netted the hoops ahead after 15 minutes. Sean Kavanagh's cross from the left-hand side was met perfectly by the defender's head. And he headed it straight into the back of the net. From there, Rovers definitely kept full steam ahead with a couple of more chances coming from Gaffney and Graham Burke as well. Dylan Watts would find himself open in play as well. But his effort was was blocked by three separate Sligo Rovers defenders. But then the second goal was would come and it was Watts a perfect ball by by Jack Byrne pinpoint accurate through ball into the heart of the Sligo Rovers defence and Watts had all the time and space to make it 2-0 into the second half Sligo did have a couple of chances but they were wayward Pineacker had a shot that flew over the top of the Rovers net into I suppose midway the midway point in the half it was definitely still Rovers game Graham Burke coming close a couple of times but his efforts were again wide of the mark but Burke would make it 3-0 on the 70 minute mark again Rory Gaffney involved this time a lovely cross from the right hand side and Burke was there at the back post to tap into the net Nando Pineacker would net a th- would net a consolation goal a couple of minutes later first LIGO but it was the hoops that take the bragging rights in the Rovers derby as the game was put down on paper for this evening. It finished at the showground. Shamrock Rovers 3, Sligo Rovers 1.